All right, I think we'll do a two box tour. This is a US General Series 2, 52 inch top, 72 inch bottom with the modified side panel, which is only made to hang on the bottom, but I hung it on the top because, well, it's just more convenient to get to the drawers. Uh, and then you can still store stuff down there. So I was thinking about getting the 72 inch top over here because now that the box is down here i don't really use this space for anything except for that box it usually sits there in some rags um so i might do that we'll see but up top we just got a bunch of clutter you know just to catch all of everything drill bits that need to be sharpened broken sockets that need to be brought in for warranty broken screwdrivers picks all the warranty stuff first aid kit manuals radio that doesn't get used anymore zip ties so up here in drawer one we just got some uh whoops that's drawer two Let's start on drawer one <laughs> we got all of our drill bits all of uh pretty much that's all that's in this drawer some blades for the multi-tool some blades for the saza we've got a lot of this stuff is the same as last time but i moved a bunch of stuff around we've got the wire brushes some pipe tape, quick code reader, tire plugs, compression tester, because that one I bought way back didn't have a thing, fuel line tool kit. Um, we've got the cutter for the brake lines and stuff. Just some miscellaneous stuff. Um, we've got a brake line tool back there. That stuff will probably get moved here eventually. This, their drawers, all, this, all the pliers. Um, so these gear wrench um these have the name of them on them i don't remember what these were called gear wrench oh does it have it in there nope just gear wrench uh, these are new gear wrench somethings they're pretty nice these pliers i bought a set of them to replace a bunch of worn out tools they weren't like gear wrench bulldog i don't remember what the name of them were but it came with a bunch of different pliers um, and then we've got small bars, picks, more picks, some miscellaneous pliers. This is basically the plier drawer. Um, I've got the toolbox widget in here with a combination of their plier holder along with screwdriver holders. And also we're using regular wrench holders for whatever fits in, you know, in whatever. A lot of the skinnier stuff fits inside of the regular wrench holders. You get a lot more of those in the cases <clears throat> than you do with like the, um, the plier organizer. So I only use the plier organizer ones on the tools that are fatter, like these vice grips, so that they can sit down further like this. That's the plier one. A lot of these other ones are just regular. See, that's just a regular wrench. It's not even a screwdriver one. <clears throat> um, these ones are the screwdriver ones. You see they're, they're all made a little bit different, but they are modular. They all go together. Great system. Saves a ton of space. <clears throat> There's a couple videos on those. Those are toolbox widgets. They're fairly pricey, but if you get them when they're on sale, it makes them well worth the price. I think I bought almost all of mine. They were 30% off on a holiday sale. In here, we just have staple gun, solder gun, glue gun, heat gun, um, plastic toolkit for removing panels, electrical testing. And we'll come over here, we'll go to this side. We just have our Phillips screwdrivers, flathead screwdrivers, torx bit specialty, magnets, um, all that sort of stuff. And here we have electrical. I need to get in a bigger electrical drawer. This is currently maxed out. <clears throat> um, we'll wait to do the side box, I guess. In the big main drawer, just like most people, we have all of our sockets. We just because this toolbox is messed up, we gotta pull the drawer out all the way. Oh, we got our Milwaukee wrenches. Really nice, really nice tight wrenches. Not so great when it comes to like a hydraulic line where you need to be able to get the wrench off and on easily. The Husky wrenches work pretty good for the hydraulic lines. These ones tend to get; they're just such a tight fit that you can't get as much of a rotation or get them on as easy 
here in a tight space. We've got the gear wrench, impact drive, swivel sockets. They're they're okay. They they seem to break fairly easy when you're using them on an impact. So we got both both 15 mils are broken right now. Um, we've got our non-impact and impact rated hex keys for large hex keys. All of our regular husky sockets which they just stay in the toolbox for the most part. If we're doing something in here, we usually grab these. Otherwise, we just grab the kit and take it out. Um, we've got 18-inch Milwaukee ratchet. Amazing ratchet. 3-8 drive. We have a 24-inch, half-inch drive Milwaukee socket. Uh, socket. Milwaukee ratchet. <clears throat> Amazing ratchet. Definitely good buys with those. They're, they're not too expensive, and they make your life way easier. Should have bought those a long time ago. We've got a set of gear wrench ratchets. Again, really nice ratchets. We use them all the time. <clears throat> I'm going to go down the middle here. We've got even more wrenches. We've got our Milwaukee ratcheting wrenches. We've got some swivel ratcheting wrenches, stubby ratcheting wrenches, wrench extender. Um, we've got some Craftsman ones in here because these are like Craftsman fast speed original made in america uh, we've got the shorter wrenches here the craftsman so these wrenches like this 10 millimeter is about an inch maybe an inch and a quarter shorter than the milwaukee 10 millimeter so if you're in a tight space this is 10 through 14 they're all shorter these are our hydraulic we mainly use these for hydraulic work hydraulic lines and stuff that's why they're cut because you got to get in the tight spaces but you can see how they don't have the extra bite tip that the Milwaukee wrench has. See how we have the actual wrench, the actual head of the nut or the bolt shape there? These ones don't. So these fit a lot looser, but they still work great for hydraulic lines. This, again, toolbox widgets in here. Look at these. Organization. I'm probably going to get a set of non-ratcheting stubby wrenches, which is going to go there. Oh, down here we've got a three-quarter inch set, all of our adjustables, another one of those gear, new gear wrench wrenches that I picked up. I had just cleaned this whole space out. These are the older Husky sockets. I'm probably going to throw those in a box, just get them out of the toolbox so they don't get used, and then figure out what's going to go in here. Down here we've got some woodworking stuff, chisels, planes, string lines. Here's the hammer drawer, also has the whole saw kit. Um, some different balls for some different hitches and stuff right there and some other miscellaneous packages But that's the hammer and pry bar drawer there. This is bottom drawer is just storage extra drill bits extra Anything there's all kinds of stuff in there light bulbs All the way from light bulbs to um Paintbrushes got our stink scan tool here with the different adapters. This is the autel Really nice scan tool works pretty good We've got all of our Clips and our hitch pins, lynch pins, cotter pins. Down here we've got our RTV glue, Loctite, everything of that nature, dielectric grease, roll of electrical tape. This is the rag drawer. <clears throat> Over here we've got all of our ratchets, extendable ratchets, old Craftsman ratchet, DeWalt ratchet. We don't have any Husky ratchets anymore though because they all broke. Flex head ratchet bunch of ratchets here we have our extensions you might say that's a lot of extensions <laughs> but we sometimes use a lot of extensions and then we have the extensions that don't fit in the drawer up here <clears throat> we got our oil filter tools all the different sizes pliers and whatnot we've got our allen keys in here with a bit set with some um, torque busting to get the stuck screws out. We've got our hose clamp pliers, which looks like they're getting a little bit beat up over here. We've got all of our um, snap ring pliers in here, gear wrench snap ring, adjustable pliers things. These are pretty nice because you, you screw the handle to open and close that. Works pretty good, but there's so many different sizes of snap rings. I still don't even have all of the right plier sizes for snap rings. Files and Metalworking, electrical test equipment, paint, 
And then over here on the added toolbox, I just cut that out up there and then welded a thing to support the side and then folded the edge over and set this toolbox on there. We've got paperwork. We've got our clamps for doing rocker panels and our whiz wheels. These things are amazing for taking decals off. We've got miscellaneous stuff. We've got a, oops, we've got a uh, brake caliper compressor. We've got a little slide hammer. We have gland nut tools that kind of suck. We've got this, I don't even remember what, what this thing's for. It doesn't get used very often. We've got some injector tools for diesel engines, ball joint removal tool. We've got our amazing lightweight Milwaukee pipe wrenches, all of our picks, not our picks, our, um, our punches, our cold chisels in that drawer. A lot of weight in this toolbox. All of our scrapers, all of our cutting wheels, grinding discs, flap discs, whiz wheels, sanding things for the whiz, for the whiz wheel. I call it the whiz wheel. <clears throat> Down here we've got gloves. So that, that's the toolbox right there. I need more space. I've been reorganizing it and I should have zoomed out from the beginning. Whoops. Um, been reorganizing it, moving some stuff around. But this is what we call the whiz wheel right now. There's a grinding disc on it from Milwaukee. It gets worn out pretty fast. It's like the third one replaced under warranty in the last two years. But uh, it's going to start pouring here, so the roof's going to get a bit loud. So I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching, everybody.